Good evening and welcome to Millennium Stage. And now please give a warm welcome to the All Souls Church Unitarian Choir. Come, I will make the continent indissoluble. I will make the most splendid race the sun ever shone upon. I will make divine magnetic lands with the love of comrades, with the lifelong love of comrades. I will plant companionship thick as trees along all the rivers of America and along the shores of the Great Lakes and all over the prairies. I will make inseparable cities with their arms about each other's necks by the love of comrades, by the manly love of comrades. For you, these, from me, O oh, democracy, to serve you, ma femme. For you, for you, I am trilling these songs.
I don't remember at what age or where, if in the great wet south or on the fearsome coast beneath the brief scream of the seagulls, I touched a hand and it was the hand of Walt Whitman. I stepped on the earth with bare feet and walked across the grasslands, across the firm dew of Walt Whitman. Through my youth, that hand came with me that dew, his solid fatherly pine, his expanse of prairie, his mission of circulating peace. Without disdain for the gifts of the earth, the capital's abundant curves or the purple initial of wisdom, you taught me to be an American. You lifted my eyes to books toward the treasure of the grain. Broad poet, Across the clarity of the plains, you made me see the high mountain as my guardian. Out of the subterranean echo, you collected everything for me. Everything that grew, you gathered the harvest, galloping through the alfalfa, cut the poppies for me, followed the rivers to arrive in the kitchen by afternoon. But your shovel brought more than earth to light you unearthed humanity, and the humiliated slave walked with you 
balancing the black dignity of his stature, conquering joy. You sent a basket of strawberries to the stoker down in the boiler. Your verse paid a visit to every corner of your city, and that verse was like a fragment of your clean body, like your own fisherman's beard or your legs of acacia in solemn stride. Your shadow of bard and nurse moved among the soldiers, the nocturnal caretaker who knew the sound of dying breath and waited with the dawn for the absolutely silent return of life. Good baker, elder first cousin of my roots, turret of Chilean pine, for a hundred years the wind has passed over your growing grasslands without eroding your eyes. These are new and cruel years in your land. Persecution, tears, prison, venomous weapons, and wrathful wars have not crushed the grass of your book, the pulsing spring of your fresh waters. And oh, those who murdered Lincoln now lie in his bed, toppling his chair of fragrant wood to raise a throne spattered with blood and misfortune. But your voice sings in the train stations on the edge of town. Your words splash like dark water across the loading docks at night. And your people, white and black, poor people, simple as all people are simple, do not forget your bell. They congregate singing beneath the magnitude of your spacious life. They walk among people with your love, caressing the pure evolution of fraternidad across the earth.
the moth and the fish eggs are in their place. The suns I see and the suns I cannot see are in their place. The palpable is in its place and the impalpable is in its place. These are the thoughts of all men in all ages and lands. They are not original with me. If they are not yours as much as mine, they are nothing or next to nothing. If they do not enclose everything, they are next to nothing. If they are not the riddle and the untying of the riddle, they are nothing. If they are not just as close as they are distant, they are nothing. This is the grass that grows wherever the land is and the water is. This is the common air that bathes the globe. This is the breath for America because it is my breath. This is for laws, songs, behavior. This is the tasteless water of souls. This is the true sustenance.
A small needful fact is that Eric Garner worked for some time for the Parks and Rec Horticultural Department, which means perhaps that with his very large hands, perhaps in all likelihood, he put gently into the earth some plants, which most likely, some of them, in all likelihood, continue to grow, continue to do what such plants do, like house and feed small and necessary creatures, like being pleasant to touch and smell, like converting sunlight into food, like making it easier for us to breathe. On, on I go. Open doors of time, open hospital doors. The crushed head I dress, poor crazed hand, tear not the bandage away. The neck of a cavalryman with a bullet through and through I examine. Hard the breathing rattles, quite glazed already the eye, yet life struggles hard. Come, sweet death, be persuaded, O oh, beautiful death. In mercy, come quickly. I am faithful, I do not give out. The fractured thigh, the knee, the wound in the abdomen, these and more I dress with impassive hand. Yet deep in my breast, a fire, a burning flame. Thus in silence, in dreams, projections, returning, resuming, I thread my way through the hospitals. The hurt and wounded I pacify with soothing hand. I sit by the restless all the dark night. Some are so young. Some suffer so much. I recall the experience, sweet and sad. 
Many a soldier's loving arms about this neck have crossed and rested. Many a soldier's kiss dwells on these bearded lips. I lived in the first century of world wars. Most mornings, I would be more or less insane. The newspapers would arrive with their careless stories. The news would pour out of various devices, interrupted by attempts to sell products to the unseen. I would call my friends on other devices. They would be more or less mad for similar reasons. Slowly, I would get to pen and paper, make my poems for others unseen and unborn. In the day, I would be reminded of those men and women, brave, setting up signals across vast distances, considering a nameless way of living, of almost unimagined values. As the lights darkened, as the lights of night brightened, we would try to imagine them, try to find each other, to construct peace, to make love, to reconcile waking with sleeping, ourselves with each other, ourselves with ourselves. We would try by any means to reach the limits of ourselves, to reach beyond ourselves, to let go the means to wake. I lived in the first century of these wars. Someone said, only the dead have seen the end of war. They were wrong. Even we are denied good rest. Bombs that blast our bones to dust, their evidence we ever lived. No one left to mourn for us or lay sweet flowers on our graves, fragrant with remembrance. Oh, let there be peace on earth and peace beneath as well. For the first time on the road north of Tampico, I felt the life sliding out of me, a drum in the desert, harder and harder to hear. I was seven. I lay in the car watching palm trees swirl a sickening pattern past the glass. My stomach was a melon split wide inside my skin. How do you know if you're going to die? I begged my mother. We had been traveling for days. With strange confidence, she answered, when you can no longer make a fist. Years later, I smile to think of that journey. The borders we must cross separately, stamped with our unanswerable woes. I, who did not die, who am still living, still lying in the back seat behind all my questions, clenching and opening one small hand.
prayer of the ashamed American. When there is no good in us, summon James Baldwin, Rachel Corey, summon Emma Goldman, Philip Berrigan, summon Walt Whitman, Cesar Chavez, summon Henry David Thoreau, Grace Lee Boggs, summon Susan B. Anthony, Harriet Tubman, summon Harriet Tubman, summon Mother Jones, Medgar Evers, be with us now, be America, be with us in our marching, be in our bodies that lie in streets, be in our nightmares as we try to sleep, do not leave us, whisper, Hector, shout through our bullhorns, through our throats, shout, we are America. We are Gloria Anzaldúa, June Jordan. We are Muriel Rukeyser. We are the miners shot at Homestead. We are Sacco and Vanzetti. We are Langston Hughes, Essex Hemphill, Paul Monet, Audrey Lord. We are hope. We are nothing but hope. We are the ancestors to come. We fling ourselves into the future. Come, say it with me. We are Sojourner. We are truth.
with antecedents, with my fathers and my mothers and the accumulations of all past ages, with all which, had it not been, I would not now be here as I am. With Egypt, India, Phoenicia, Greece, and Rome, with the Celt, the Scandinavian, the Alb, and the Saxon, with antique maritime ventures, laws, artisanship, wars, and journeys, with the poet, the scald, the saga, the myth, and the oracle, with the sale of slaves, with enthusiasts, with the troubadour, the crusader, and the monk, with those old continents whence we have come to this new continent, with the fading kingdoms and kings over there, with the fading religions and priests, with the small shores we look back to from our own large and present shores, with countless years drawing themselves onward and arrived at these years, you and me arrived, America arrived, and making this year, this year, sending itself ahead countless years to come. Oh, but it is not the years, it is I, it is you. We touch all laws and tally all antecedents. We are the scald, the oracle, the monk, and the knight. We easily include them and more. We stand amid time, beginningless and endless. We stand amid evil and good. All swings around us. There is as much darkness as light. The very sun swings itself and its system of planets around us, its sun and its again all swing around us. As for me, I have the idea of all and am all and believe in all. I believe materialism is true and spiritualism is true. I reject no part. Have I forgotten any part? Come to me, whoever and whatever till I give you recognition. In the name of these states, and in your and my name, the past. And in the name of these states, and in your name and my name, the present. I know that the past was great, and that the future will be great. And I know that both curiously conjoin in this present time. And that where I am or you are, this present day, there is the center of all days, all races. And there is the meaning to us of all that has ever come of races and days, or ever will come. God is inside me and everyone else that was or ever will be. I came into this world with God, and when I finally looked inside, I found it just as close as my breath is to me. Man. 
make my heart beat when we share This is the youngest us ever felt. Amen. Let America be America. Amen. Again. Let it be the dream it used to be. Let it be the pioneer on the plain seeking a home where he himself is free. America never was America to me. Let America be the dream the dreamers dreamed. Let it be that great, strong land of love where never kings connive nor tyrants scheme that any man be crushed by one above. It never was America to me. Oh, let my land be a land where liberty is crowned with no false patriotic wreath, but opportunity is real and life is free, equality is in the air we breathe. Yes. There's never been equality for me, nor freedom in this homeland of the free. Say, who are you that mumbles in the dark? And who are you that draws your veil across the stars? I am the poor white, fooled and pushed apart. I am the Negro bearing slavery's scars. I am the red man driven from the land. I am the immigrant clutching the hope I seek and finding only the same old stupid plan of dog eat dog, of mighty crush the weak. I am the young man full of strength and hope, tangled in that ancient, endless chain of profit, power, gain, 
of grab the land, of grab the gold, of grab the ways of satisfying need, of work the men, of take the pay, of owning everything for one's own greed. I am the farmer, bondsman to the soil. I am the worker, sold to the machine. I am the Negro, servant to you all. I am the people, humble, hungry, mean, hungry yet today, despite the dream, beaten yet today. Oh, pioneers, I am the man who never got ahead, the poorest worker bartered through the years, yet I'm the one who dreamt our basic dream in the old world while still a serf of kings, who dreamt a dream so strong, so brave, so true, that even yet its mighty daring sings in every brick and stone, in every furrow turned that's made America the land it has become. Oh, I'm the man who sailed those early seas in search of what I meant to be my home, for I'm the one who left dark Ireland's shore and Poland's plain and England's grassy lee and torn from black Africa's strand. I came to build a homeland of the free. The free? Who said the free? Not me, surely not me. The millions on relief today the millions shot down when we strike. The millions who have nothing for our pay. For all the dreams we've dreamed. And all the songs we've sung. And all the hopes we've held. And all the flags we've hung. The millions who have nothing for our pay except the dream that's almost dead today. Oh, let America be America again. The land that never has been yet and yet must be. The land where every man is free. The land that's mine, the poor man's, Indians, Negroes, me, who made America, whose sweat and blood, whose faith and pain, whose hand at the foundry, whose plow in the rain must bring back our mighty dream again. Sure, call me, call me any ugly name you choose. The steel of freedom does not stain. From those who live like leeches on the people's lives, we must take back our land again, America. Oh yes, I say it plain. America never was America to me. And yet, I swear this oath, America will be. Out of the rack and ruin of our gangster death, the rape and rot and graft and stealth and lies, we the people must redeem the land, the mines, the plants, the rivers, the mountains, and the endless plain. All, all the stretch of these great green states and make America again.
only to be with you but I still haven't found what I'm looking for mm -hmm. but I still oh no haven't found Said it burned with desire. I have spoke with tongues of angels. I've held the hand, hand of the devil. It was cold as the night. It was cold as stone. Oh, but I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Looking for, I'm still looking for love and for peace. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah. Oh, but I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Come on, y'all, help me say it. Come on, say, I believe, I believe in the kingdom to come. All of the colors will blend into one, yeah, yeah. Oh, I believe we will see a world of love and peace. I believe, I believe it, yeah. But I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Can you help me, help me, help me sing it yet, yeah. Still haven't found what I'm looking for. Come on, Kennedy Center, help us sing it. We still, oh, we still haven't found what I'm looking for. Oh, but I still haven't found what I'm looking for.